It's Thursday the 19th of January 2023 and if you want to live to 104 years old then start smoking, start drinking and eat lots of greasy, really healthy Kentucky Fried Chicken, otherwise KFC. Now, the beloved leader of the CCP or the CPC or the Chinese Communist Party or the Party Communist China, whatever, Xi Jinping has been doing a video call to an old people's home. Obviously, this is propaganda and this old people's home, I can guess, are for people who've worked for the Chinese government and they say everything is fine, how, 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 etc. How means good in Chinese. But what you don't see is Xi Jinping every day on television encouraging people saying this is going to disappear in the future, the COVID and the death rate in China. Obviously, China's not very good with transparency, with numbers, and they're dumbing it down. The latest figures are something like 60,000 deaths in the People's Republic of China. But this is the video link. Don't worry, it, they do have subtitles underneath. Hello. 各位老年朋友大家好今天啊我通过视频连线的方式啊和大家见面首先给大家拜年祖自己新年好今年在福利院过年的有多少人呢今年在我们福利院有有几个字有福之州幸福老人老人们在这里生活大家觉得日子过得好不好啊好我们老人在这边生活过得很好请您放心一定要让老人们有个幸福的晚年能够开开心心过好生活<笑> 尊老爱老啊，这个是中华民族的优良的传统和美德。一个社会幸福不幸福？ This is the fantasy world that Xi Jinping wants to create with Western media and saying everything is okay, but it can't defeat the netizens who constantly come up with videos on Twitter, on Weibo, on social media aspects all around the world of what life is really like, especially in hospitals. This has, I would say, gone down a little bit, but not too much. And with the Chinese New Year just a stone's throw away, travel is going to be on the increase as over 1 billion people may possibly travel to their hometown, for example. That's going to be a multi-spreader. We possibly will see an increase after the Chinese New Year. But the picture I'm showing you here is the reality. What you see with Xi Jinping basically is just a fantasy of a video stream trying to do, I'm a good leader. Really? Come on. We'll do more about Xi Jinping in a moment or two and related to Taiwan, the country of Taiwan, of course. Okay, on the brighter side, just for a moment or two to break up the news, do you want to see what a very expensive Chinese wedding looks like? Well, take a look at this.
And yes, this next bit coming up is Chinese propaganda, but it does look actually rather beautiful. And this is Chongqing in the southwest of China with a population, or the autonomous region has a population of 35 million people, possibly more, possibly less. We don't know the numbers anymore in China, but it does look very first 22nd century kind of stuff. Eventually we get to the title today. Xi Jinping has been the president, the general secretary, the owner basically of China near enough since 2012 till 2013, self-elected for now his third term in office. But if we look back at this glorious leader, what has he actually accomplished? What has he actually accomplished in his reign? Well, nothing. Nothing that he will be remembered for. And this is a concern to the Taiwanese foreign minister saying if he gets elected for a fourth term in 2027, he would definitely want something to be remembered by. And we could say Xi Jinping is possibly planning or doing his utmost best for the reunification of China, mainland China, and the country of Taiwan. Now, posts say in Taiwan that most people are very happy with the status quo, leave us alone. Not many people want to be reunified with China. They look at Hong Kong, for example, that all these promises were kept, and 20-something years down the line, guess what? All these promises were broken. In a nutshell, I know some of the shills will like manipulate and turn this around saying, I have so many Hong Kong friends, but the videos and the facts don't lie when 8 million people walking down the street saying, we don't want it. As simple as that, but the Chinese government didn't listen to it. That's another story. And when there's ever kind of protests and riots, some people unfortunately are going to get injured, etc. But that's another story. Listen to the foreign minister of Taiwan. It's all in English. There are subtitles underneath and saying this is a worry for the country of Taiwan if Xi Jinping doesn't get the economy, the Chinese economy, out of recession. The numbers don't lie. The real numbers don't lie. And if you do the GDP and if you do the imports and exports over the last three years, China hasn't been doing exactly very well. All the 2022 figures that you may see from China saying, oh, it's increased, but it doesn't make sense. How can it if Shanghai was locked down for two months. Major cities from September, October and November were locked down. People couldn't go to work. People lost their jobs. People lost their houses. Big cities like Shenzhen at the beginning of 2022 locked down. It's near enough impossible to have it higher than 2021 looking at it. So we do hope that China does get back on its feet after the COVID situation. People, the people of China, not the government, the people of China can get back on their feet. And that possibly will say, oh, Xi Jinping did this. And then the threats of reunification, and it is a threat to the country of Taiwan. A, the threat of that will disappear hopefully, and it will just linger in the background for years and possibly centuries and nothing will happen. It will rear its ugly head once in a blue moon, but then it will all disappear related to that. Let's have a look what the foreign minister had to say. Year that we need to watch out. Uh, in 2027, Xi Jinping is likely to uh, go into his fourth term. If you look at the Chinese situation right now, uh, the economy is going down, the people are not happy. So we are concerned that in 2027, if Xi Jinping cannot change the situation domestically in China, he might want to resort to a use of force or creating crisis externally. 
to divert domestic attention or to show to the Chinese that he has accomplished something. And we are concerned that Taiwan might become his scapegoat. If anyone has got this far in the video, congratulations, well done. Leave a comment in the comment section below and said, I made it would be fantastic. So we know that you have watched maybe seven or eight minutes of this. The like, subscribe and share is absolutely essential. If you haven't done so, please do so. Do consider it. The Patreon is open if you want to support me financially, along with the membership and the super thanks. Have a epic day on Thursday, the 19th of January, 2023. I will love you and leave you. Be peaceful, be loving, be kind, be sharing. And ta-ta. Bye-bye.